Hello everyone. So today let's talk about fundamentals of technical systems. Now what is a system? A system is an integration of people, products and processes that provides a capability to satisfy the stated need or objective. Okay. Now next comes the systems engineering design. Uh, systems engineering. So it basically consists of two domains. The first one is technical knowledge domain in which the systems engineer operates. And the second one is systems. Uh, second one is management domain, in which the uh, systems engineer management uh, mainly uh, works. Okay, so uh, basically we can define the systems engineering uh, as a logical sequence of activities and decisions that transforms an operational lead into a description of system performance parameters and a preferred system configuration. Okay, in, inter, uh, in an interdisciplinary approach uh, that encompasses the entire technical effort and evolves into uh, uh, and verifies an integral and life cycle balanced set of system, people, product and processes uh, solution that satisfies the customer needs. Another definition of systems engineer can be uh, an, it is an interdisciplinary collab collaborative approach uh, that derives, evolves and verifies our life cycle balanced system uh, which satisfies customers expect expectations and meets public acceptability okay so in summary systems engineer uh, engineering is an in interdisciplinary engineering management process that evolves and verifies an integrated life cycle balanced set of system solutions that satisfies customers need okay so uh, today we are going to focus mainly our study on systems engineering management okay uh, systems engineering management can be well understood by uh, this venn diagram uh, so the first part of venn diagram uh, is the development facing okay uh, development facing controls the design uh, processes and provides baseline that coordinate the design efforts the second one is systems engineering processes. Okay, uh, it provides a structure for solving design problems and taking and tracking uh, requirements flow through the design effort. And the third one is life cycle integration. It involves customers in the design process and ensures that the systems developed uh, system developed is viable throughout its life. All right. Now each one of these activities. Uh, is necessary to achieve the proper management and uh, proper management of a development effort okay now the phasing uh, the phasing development phasing has two major purposes it controls the design effort and is the major connection between the technical management effort okay and uh, overall acquisition effort now it consists the design effort by development design baselines uh, that govern each level of development okay it interfaces with acquisition management by providing key events in the development process where design viability can be measured now what is viability the viability of the baseline develop is a major input for acquisition uh, management okay and milestone decisions as a result the timing and coordination between the technical development phasing and the acquisition schedule is a is critical to maintain a healthy acquisition program all right the system engineering uh, the system engineering process is the heart of the system engineering management uh, its purpose is to provide a structural but a flexible process that transforms requirements into specifications architectures and configuration baselines all right the discipline of this process of this process provides the control and traceability of developed solutions that meet customers needs the system engineering process may be repeated uh, one or more times during any phase of the development all right and the third one is a life cycle integration it is necessary to ensure that the uh, design solution is viable throughout the life of the system it includes the planning associated with product and process development as well as the integration of multiple functional concerns into the design and engineering process. Uh, in this manner, the product life cycle can be reduced 
uh, and the need for redesign and rework sustainability is ultimately reduced okay so in conclusion uh, i would like to say that the system engineering uh, is a standardized discipline management process for development of system solution that provides a constant approach to system development in an environment of change and uncertainty all right uh, it also provides for simultaneous products and process developments as well as a common basis for communication and uh, systems engineering ensures that the correct technical tasks get done during the development uh, during the development through planning tracking and coordination so um, that's all for today and it this is what how we conclude the fundamentals of technical system thank you